On October the 26th, the Believe in Tomorrow Children's Foundation will be holding its 28th annual Port to Fort 6K. And joining us today is a former patient in Believe in Tomorrow's respite program, Madison Letter. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Of course. Thank you for having me. So Believe in Tomorrow, for those who don't know, provides sort of really a home away from home for pediatric patients and their families. Um, they have locations all over the area here in Baltimore, but they have these respite locations to really help families feel normal. Deep Creek is one, Ocean City, they have another one, and, and you've been to both. Yes. Yeah. So tell us your story a little bit. It was only four years ago you got diagnosed with an extremely rare form of bone cancer, is that right? Yes. Uh, so it was Ewing sarcoma. It was in my left pelvic bone. It was about eight to nine centimeters, um, and so I had to go through chemotherapy um, in 2020. Um, radiation, another few months of chemo, uh, finish, um, went through remission uh, for about a year and a half, and then um, got, or relapsed again. Mm. Um, <laughs> same bone cancer, same spot. Had to go through chemo, surgery this time. Um, was in a hospital for like a week um, after surgery, and then more outpatient uh, chemo. And then, um, yeah, here we are. <laughs> oh, Madison, I can't even imagine. This all happened during the pandemic. The world's falling apart anyway. <laughs> now your family's world is falling apart because you're going through all of this. Yeah. You were only 14 years old at the time. Mm -hmm. You had to be in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, had to be in a wheelchair. Couldn't play soccer, go mm -hmm. to school. Um, and yeah, it was pretty tough. <laughs> So when you were feeling well enough to get away, being able to get away and spend time with family that you weren't doing doctor's visits, being in the hospital, what did that mean to you? Um, it felt really amazing um, because, you know, I'm in a new environment where I don't have to deal with doctors, medicine, chemotherapy. Um, so it was a good place to like relax and hang out with family. And that's what those respite houses provide patients like yourself. You're yes. in Deep Creek, you actually get to feel like you're on vacation. Yes. Um, and you were out of a wheelchair by the time you were in Ocean City, but they do have uh, beach accessible wheelchairs for patients who need that sort of access, mm -hmm. yeah. which is amazing. So this port to fort is something that you have been participating in for the last three years. Yes. It's fun. Yes. Um, yeah, so you can like dress up with like different costumes. Um, we've been there for, this will be our third time going, um, but yeah, it's just a really nice thing to like give back to the Believe in Tomorrow um, because they helped us. We want to help other families that have been affected the same way that me and my family have. And you can wear costumes. It's really like a big Halloween party. Bell Nursery is one of the sponsors, so I think every runner that's participating gets a, a flower too, which is really cool. And then if you are able to raise $250, you also get a special Believe in Tomorrow beanie. So Believe in Tomorrow has really meant so much to your family. I don't think people understand that you don't need Believe in Tomorrow until you need it, and then you really rely on them. Mm -hmm. You need them so much. You're doing very well now. Yes. Still recovering, still um, trying to get physically in shape still, but um, yes, doing, doing better. Not just doing better, you were still able to get your high school diploma. Yes. And you're going to college. Yeah. Which I give your mom and dad a lot of credit for letting you going away to college. You know, they, they haven't just clung on to you with everything. So you're doing fantastic. Madison, thanks for coming in and being brave enough to talk about your story. And we do want to put the information up there on the screen for people to donate. Because even if you can't do this 6K, which is Saturday, October 26, it starts at 8.30 in the morning. You can still donate to this awesome cause. You can find all the information on how to register for the race or to donate. Just visit the port to fort.org or you can find it on our website as well.